exercise changed my life a long time ago. Let me explain. Well, first, I do have coffee for you or tea. I'm drinking mine. And you can pause this if you want to go make your own coffee. So just push the button and pause it and come back. So yeah, I mean, it really did change my life years ago. As a child, I mean, I played a lot. If you are a boomer, you know that there was a lot of times we just took off, especially in the summer. And we took off and we went and we played all day long sometimes. Well, my parents afforded me that and I had a best friend and we were always walking and playing. As a teenager, maybe not so much. Um, didn't really exercise a whole lot, but when I was 19, I found a book by Richard Hittleman. It was yoga and I fell in love with it right away. And I still to this day do a lot of yoga exercises. During my life, there were times as an adult or as a mother that I went maybe like a couple years without doing too much yoga, but I always went right back to it. So at this point with my yoga, I've tweaked it so much that there are some stretching exercises that do resemble yoga, but I've kind of tweaked it and made it my own. And I incorporated a lot of the exercises with Pilates, which I did. I discovered Pilates probably in my 50s. But let me go back just a little bit. It really did change my life getting going with yoga. It was a good system to learn. I saw a video recently about a, she was 90, she's 92 years old. And she started doing yoga in her 80s. This woman is 92 and she is so stretched out. She looks I mean, she doesn't look like a teenager, obviously, but she is looks so much younger. She does not look like 92 at all. So it is possible later on in life to get going and get fit and get trim and stretched out and looking good and feeling good. In my 20s, I started doing ballet. Uh, something intrigued me to join um, the ballet school, and I but private lessons. So I advanced very quickly with that. And I had ballet in my life probably for about five years until, you know, it, it just became well. Um, you know, I with children that I couldn't really keep it up. But so I do have ballet in my background. Walking, walking is so important to me. I guess as a child, I walked quite a bit in the neighborhood. My girlfriend and I, we would walk all over together. It was safe to do back then. So I just want to encourage all of you to get walking because exercise did change my life. Here I'm putting together my slack line. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I slacklined over the past couple years often. Well, it's been a while since I got out my slackline and I just thought today's the day. I want to get out my slackline. It kind of was buried in the garage area, in the back area um, where you open the hatch of my minivan. So I did get it out and I'm so glad I did. I almost forgot how to put it all together. Now, I know some, a couple of you actually did get a slack line after seeing me do it. it. It's a lot of fun. And I will tell you that slack lining increases your balance so much. You're walking. I, I do it barefoot. And you're walking on this. Let's see. It's probably about four inches and it's a four inch, it's a cake, not, not really a rope, but um, I can't think of what you call it, but it's four inches, it's the green, and you need to keep your balance. Now, what I did was I bought a training slack line, 
and you will see that above me is going to be an orange cable. That way I can hang on. Because I really, at this point in my life, I really don't want to fall or, you know, kind of tumble down. And I'll tell you, slacklining takes years to learn. There are people, they're like a circus act. I discovered slacklining when I was in Reno, Nevada. There were, it was, <laughs> the people in Reno loved to party. And the young people who come to this park, um, they would do juggling. They would do poi balls. They would put out their slack lines and they would put them high without a training line. They were so good at it. You have to have really good leg muscles to slack line without a training line. And you need to have pretty good um, leg muscles even with a training line. Yeah. Now we're going to put up the orange and it's going to, now I'm going to get up there. Nope. You know, I used to be able to get up. You can see me trying to get up there. My leg muscles have, I mean, they're tight, but not as tight as they used to be because I haven't been slacklining. So I actually had to go get the stool, the step stool to get up there. See, now I've got my step stool. But I have tall Paul here, <laughs> and he can help me get it up high. But this is what we do at the park. I just wanted to show you all of this, everybody. Because basically what I'm showing you is the activity that a nomad can get by being at a park during the day and making it a point to exercise. It's actual, if you can see, it's actually exercise just putting the slack line up. But it's going to be worth it. It's, it's a lot of fun. And it does take good balance. But it will also build balance. Let me get a little drink of my coffee here. So not only is exercise good for your body, it's good for your mental capacity. It keeps the blood flowing and it keeps you creative. It keeps everything going, the, the blood flow in your brain and in your neck. And it just, yeah, um, exercising is so good for you mentally. Here we go. And you can see how I'm hanging on. I have another rope, like cable, that is attached to the upper line. And I can kind of hang on to that. But as you see here, I like to balance on one foot and sort of let go of it, like hold it up just a little bit so that I'm actually balancing. So I'm getting some balance, but yeah, let me go on with how exercise has changed my life. Had I not started out with the yoga and had I not went into some dancing. I don't know how my life would have been. Had I really, would I have kept up with my exercise and kept up with my physique and kept up with my energy and fitness? Would I have? Probably. But this is how it changed my life. And it can change yours also. And it doesn't matter how old you are. That one female that I told you about in her 80s, she decided to start out with yoga and start stretching out. And it just improved her life. And she's just going strong. You couldn't even imagine that she's 92. Today, Paul and I went um, to IHOP. And there was a fellow, we were watching these three elderly people. They were, they were way older than us. We could tell, but we were kind of trying to guess what this man's age was. And one of the reasons we were trying is because he looked just like Warren Buffett. And I said, look at that guy. He looks just like Warren Buffett. He did. He really did. So then the other fella got up and I said, hey, come here. I go, 
is he who is that that he looks just like Warren Buffett and he goes oh that's my brother-in-law he was with his wife his wife's uh, brother was the guy that looked like Warren Buffett I said how old is he He looks like he's around 85 he goes oh no he's 92 so you never know but when I when he did get up I did notice he was very unsteady on his feet and I thought you know Here's this woman that I've heard about. I think she's kind of become a YouTube sensation that she's actually um, very, very fit now. And she's 92. Um, my father passed away. He was 94. And he was getting sort of unsteady on his feet. I want to stay steady on my feet no matter what till the end. Here I'm just kind of laying down on it. I like to do it. And you know why I like to do this? Is because it's very therapeutic. It's almost meditative. I can look up at the sky and I can kind of keep my balance on it. It doesn't hurt my spine or anything. I just have to get it in, in, in the exact right place as I lay down on it. But yeah, um, there's so many things that you can do on the slack line. It's almost like a little children's gym, you know. <laughs> when children walk by and they see me doing this, it's like uh, they kind of like look at it like, oh, I wish I could do it. And sometimes I invite them over. I ask the parents if it's okay. And and I even invite them say, would you like to try it also? And sometimes they do. This is really good for balance. I kind of have it sideways on my gluteus. And then I just lift up with my legs, my feet, and my arms. Slack lining tightens every muscle in your body. Now here's Paul. He wants to get up and check his solar on top of his roof. And I like to help him out. I, um, I like to stand on the bottom of the ladder to steady it and keep it, you know, keep it right there. So you're just helping him. And in the meantime, I'll continue. Um, when I was living in a sticks and bricks, I cooked all the time and I did cook organic. I made soups. I just, yeah, vegetables. And I did buy a lot of organic, but I found that if you, you can eat right, but if you eat too much, even if you exercise for me, you can put on weight. And you're not going to lose weight if you're not getting rid of some of your calories if you need to. So you can exercise until you're blue in the face. But if you're taking in too many calories, you're going to put on extra weight. It's just, you know, it's the way it's, it's science. That's the way it works. So if you do want to drop a few pounds, cut back on your eating for a little bit. Yeah. Um, even if it's one meal a day, just eat really good superfoods. Eat a lot of produce. I like 50-50. 50 cooked and 50 um, produce, raw foods. Uh, Paul wanted um, his, his one tool, multi-tool. He's putting on a wire going across to make sure that the solar panel stays in place. little sip of my coffee. Did you guys make coffee? And while you're listening to this? Well, nomad exercising. And Paul's getting exercise. He did his walk today. You could see that. I got my walk in. I took Abby for a walk. And then I got my, I'd like to do, before I was doing 8,000 steps now, I'm only doing six. Because I find that throughout the day, I'm still getting a lot of steps in. He wants me to go up and check. I worked construction. I was in the trades. And so I don't, I didn't, I've never liked heights, but I did get used to it. I'm still, I, <laughs> I've gotten to the point where I don't like heights again because I'm not really used to it. Now here is a really good exercise. This is very important. It keeps your thighs, your gluteus,
And then, of course, you got the weights. I like to do this almost every day just to keep everything going. These are five-pound weights. My first five-pound weights were stolen off of a picnic table, and that was in Reno. And, uh, I mean, I put them there every day just to kind of keep that area for myself while I went for a walk, and I came back one day. It was gone. And you can see here that, uh, and this is just as much exercise, taking down the slack line. So it's just, you get constant exercise by doing these things. But I will mention today that I did fall. I was walking and there was this little hole in the ground. It had grass around it and it was at the park. And my foot went in, it was very small, maybe like the, a little bit, um, it's about the size of a little bit um, bigger than my cup here, my cup size. And my foot went down and there was no stopping me. I just went down. I went down on my wrist because it's, I don't know, I guess it's just a reaction to, to stop yourself. And I had to stop for a minute like, did I hurt anything? I mean, because I went down on my right hip. I just, I, my left foot went in the hole. I went down on my right hip. And I, I wasn't sure about my wrist. I, when I came back, I took some ibuprofen just to make sure there wasn't any swelling going on to bring any swelling down. But I'll tell you what, if I wasn't physically fit, I probably would have hurt, really hurt something. But I didn't. I'm so grateful. So this is basically the end of our exercise program. We were out here probably a couple hours. So in so many ways, exercise changed my life because I'm almost, I'm nearing 70 in a few months. And I can honestly say that I would not be having a, as good a time and I wouldn't be able to do my slack line and things like that had not I stayed fit and exercised most of my life. In my 40s, I started riding a bike. I rode it everywhere in Tucson, cross town even, and Tucson's pretty big. So that really also increased my stamina and my fitness level, even as I was getting older. But coming up, I want to show you an exercise that I found on YouTube by a physical therapist. And she said that this is the exercise that every senior needs to do. Top number one exercise we all need to be doing as boomers and seniors. Right here, we need to be working on our calves because this is where just getting up all the movements that we have to do as seniors require calf muscles. Getting up, bending over, stooping over, getting out of our cars, getting out of bed, helping ourselves up off the ground. So I've been incorporating this exercise almost every day now. And what I do is I go all the way down and make myself come back up, all the way down. This gets my leg muscles and my calf muscles. Thank you for spending time with me today, having a little coffee with me. Hope you found this interesting. Just get out there and stay active. And you're gonna feel so good as you get older, as your age goes up. So I'm gonna ask you to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye, love you.